in a sharp change of heart, the nation's top breast cancer charity today apologized to the American people for cutting off funding to Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood provides women's health services, including breast cancer screening, but its abortion services are what touched off a furious debate this week over the funding cut and the motivations behind it. Nancy Cordes is following this story for us. Looking for shelter in a political firestorm, Susan G. Komen for The Cure issued a mea culpa this morning. We want to apologize to the American public for recent decisions that cast doubt upon our commitment to our mission of saving women's lives. Komen announced it was reversing its decision, made public on Tuesday to cut off funding for breast exams at Planned Parenthood. Komen also said it would amend its new funding criteria that had seemed to disqualify Planned Parenthood alone among its 2,000 grant recipients. In a telephone call with reporters, Planned Parenthood's president, Cecile Richards, said she was grateful. What we've seen um, over the last few days and the outpouring of support sends a real important message about that women are willing to stand up for women and, and, and women's health. The Komen Foundation changed course after a torrent of women posted messages online that were 10 to 1 against the charity. Today, Democratic Senator Patty Murray of Washington State congratulated Komen with this caveat. We will remain vigilant to make sure that politics doesn't come between us and our health care. The Komen Foundation was recently ranked the nation's second most trusted nonprofit. But this week, it managed to outrage people on both sides of the nation's most divisive issue, abortion. I think we've seen this week a disgraceful display of Planned Parenthood using real thug tactics to try to bring political pressure on the Komen Foundation. Charmaine Yost leads the anti-abortion rights group Americans United for Life. You call Planned Parenthood thug-like. They say it's groups like yours that have been bullying the Komen Foundation. We have been working very diligently to get all the information out there about how Planned Parenthood does business. There are real serious and substantive questions about their financial stewardship of the public monies that they receive. Scott, Planned Parenthood said today it has raised more than $3 million in the past three days. Opponents of Planned Parenthood say that's proof the organization doesn't need the $700,000 it gets from Komen each year. Nancy, thanks very much.